Well, my name is David Prentice. Uh, I work on the sports desk. This is Steve Graves, who works on the news desk. And we have slight differences of opinion when it comes to football. <laughs> and uh, we're here to have a civilised debate today about uh, one of those differences of opinion, which was uh, prompted by uh, a Leon Osman uh, story this week where he's named three individuals that he believes from Everton Football Club that would get there or force their way into Liverpool's starting eleven. Now, I'm not so sure about two of them, but one I'm absolutely convinced by. Steve's got different opinions on a few of them. We'll go through them. Seamus Coleman, he thinks, is one. Um, you think he's got half a chance again against the Reds, too? I think we'll come on to the three in a second. I think of the three, it's the one that I, I would be most persuaded by. I mean, Trent Alexander-Arnold has, has been a revelation at Liverpool and, and done a fantastic job so far. Um, Joe Gomez, when he's deputised there uh, recently to, to to move the system around, has also done really well as well. So, uh, you know, it's not an area where Liverpool have also got Nathaniel Klein, who's an international right back, uh, who, who can't even get near the even the bench at the moment. I, you know, I don't think there's there's a shortage of players there. But Coleman's an experienced player, and you know, we've seen him as an attacking fullback be, be among the best in in the league uh, down down the years. I mean, I've not seen him play as much recently as you as you, Preno, but I think. Um, in terms of, we'll come on to the other two in a minute, but in terms of the three that have been named, I think he's the one with the biggest claim, I suppose, in terms of pedigree and experience. Beautifully sold. I won't you know, counter that because uh, Seamus Coleman, for me, has not had a good season so far. I mean, he's been announced of the team. Uh, on current form, he probably wouldn't get in. But yeah, in terms of stature, you know, sort of international reputation, there's every chance. The other one, great player, but it's actually where you squeeze him into the team. Gilfie Sigurdsson is what Leon Osman came out with and suggested he would get into the Liverpool team. Now, Gilfie has had a great season, uh, is a very, very, very good footballer. And I always remember Jurgen Klopp uh, singling him out uh, when he scored at Anfield last season in the FA Cup, where he actually said, uh, for any other footballer, it's a difficult finish, but for that player, mm. it was almost like a backhanded compliment. But where's he getting the Liverpool team? I can't see it, and I don't think you can either, can you? I think in the first team, it's very hard. You know, I think the system just wouldn't quite fit somehow. I think what it would bring is his set-piece delivery and, and his quality from those areas, which is something that Liverpool, it's been a little bit up and down, I think, um, in recent years. You know, Shaqiri's now in the squad and I think would, would uh, does offer that to Liverpool. I think the presence of Shaqiri actually is one, is one thing that would, would count against him even further in that many of the things that I could make a case for around Sigurds and I think Shakiri might bring to the squad anyway. Uh, but I think he is, you know, he is a very, very good player and I know how highly uh, Brendan Rodgers thought of him and, and I think there was a time when he was pretty close to, uh, to linking back up with him uh, when, he was, uh, when he was leaving Swansea for Spurs initially. So, um, so yeah, you know, a, a really good player and, uh, you know, it's one of those I think sometimes, you know, it's fine that everyone has good players who might not Absolutely. actually fit. You know, I think I'm sure there are numbers members of the Liverpool first team who maybe in terms of quality are more than good enough to get into the Everton side, but whether they would fit with Silver's system, the system is, yeah. you know, is, is, is something we'd, we could probably discuss for days as well. <laughs> Right, so far so civilised. <laughs> now the final uh, selection. Uh, Leon Osman believes that Jordan Pickford is good enough to get into the Liverpool team and I totally endorse Leon's views. Jordan has been absolutely top class. I mean, didn't start the season well, uh, but the last uh, three or four weeks has been outstanding and I'm having him all day long ahead of Alisson. I mean, I think Tell me why not? <laughs> all day long feels. I mean, you look at Alisson, he's, he's the man in possession of the Brazil number one shirt. He, I'm conscious it's not renowned for having great goalkeepers. But yeah. Well, no, it's not. But they've got Edison at the moment. Yeah, and yeah. I think, you know, you would you would say that he's, a, he's absolutely top quality, perhaps the best in the league at the moment. Um, Have had anything to do this season, Alisson? He hasn't. But I think what, what, what he's done... Um, when called upon, he's, he's made very few mistakes. I mean, you've seen the mistake that he's made against Leicester, um, the goal against Cardiff at the weekend, I think. Oh, just got to, you beat me to it. <laughs> in the ground, felt like a mistake. And I think his reaction suggested he thought, felt that he'd made a mistake. He was furious with himself. Yeah. Looking back, it, it's just one of these these things happen. I think Van Dijk is as much at fault for, you know, yeah. for, the, for the extent to which he, um, he sort of hangs a leg out. Moreno at the start, you know, is, is probably a little bit too proactive going forward. It, it, it's just one of those. It's the kind of goal that you concede. And I think any goalkeeper can expect to concede those through a season. If you look at Liverpool's clean sheets record so far, it is, it is remarkable. And he's played a huge part in that. And I think it's less... Has he of, played a part in it? Has well, it down it's to Van much Dijk less, and Gomez? And, yeah, and, and I think similar to them, it's much less the sort of last minute, their last gasp, Goal saving, cat like agility, and just the level of assurance he brings, and and quality, and you can you can just see you can you can you can feel the quality of him almost coming radiating out from him, um, the calm assurance that's there now that people in the stands and people on the pitch don't panic when Liverpool can see the corner, they don't panic when uh, when the ball goes back to his feet, and that that's remarkable in that he has made a mistake with his feet, but we he shook that off so quickly, it, the, the next time he got the ball in that Leicester game after that mistake, he. he 
basically w was happy enough to take it on his feet and take a touch and have a think about it again. He didn't panic, and I think the difference, you know, I, I, I think at times Simon Mignolet has been slightly, you know, he's been maligned by, by fans who say, you know, he, he wouldn't even get a game for a championship side, all those kind of things, which just isn't true. He's, he's up there, you know, among the sort of seven or eight better goalkeepers in the league. But what he didn't have was that kind of assurance and that feeling that when he makes a mistake, he just it just doesn't phase him. And I think that's the thing with Alisson. All goalkeepers will make a mistake. But his, the quality he's brought to Liverpool, it does really feel like the money, however much it was, 60 whatever million, really well spent. And, you know, those couple of days when he was the, the world record goalkeeper, uh, it shows how highly Liverpool think of him. And um, and I, it, it, in terms of how much he's transformed the side, it's, it's been remarkable, I think. And I think... He's, it's underrated how much he has because he hasn't done that sort of highlight reel stuff yet. Sure. Um, but I think we everyone feels confident that, that that will be to come when he has to do it. Whereas Pickford has got that highlights reel mm. because he's had a, he's had more to do than uh, than Allison this season undoubtedly, uh, and he's done it very well. The one error, the glaring error, was the West Ham clearance which uh, he gave straight to a West Ham player, which resulted in a goal, but responded very well from us. I think five of his last 11 penalty kicks he's saved, uh, his distribution with his feet. All right, I know you're going to throw the Spain incident at me, but you know <laughs> he, he recovered from that and didn't concede the goal. Sure. Um, he's, his distribution with his feet is very, very good. Uh, and he's young, you know, he's getting better and better. And uh, whilst I accept that Alisson is a top-class goalkeeper, I think that Pickford is on a par with him at the moment and is getting better all the time. But I think Alisson's getting better as well. I think that... The because he, because he's so big and he looks, you know, I think because Pitford looks like quite a young lad, yeah. you know, with with the, the best will in the world, he he looks young and, he and looks he's smaller and he's got smaller arms. See that. Apparently. Yeah, and then, well, <laughs> I wouldn't say. According that, to some <laughs> very very you know, sort of expert judges, so yeah. I hear. Yeah. Um, but uh, Allison is still a young goalkeeper as well. Um, he had his big breakthrough season really the season before last at Roma. So you know, he's 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 at this level is quite inexperienced and still still developing. He's got I think thirty three caps for Brazil. Yeah. Um, so he's he's still developing in um, in much the same way, I suppose. And it's really exciting to have those two young goalkeepers um, at both clubs. And I think it's been a problem position, you know, down the years. Probably, you know, apart from maybe Pepe Reina, Tim Howard, who've had you know long spells. It's been mm -hmm. quite hard to to sort of um, nail down those positions. And I think it's one that, that fans really um, enjoy feeling secure in. So it's positive for both sides, I suppose. I, I wouldn't argue for a second that that. Pickford isn't a very good shot stopper and a, and a, and a very talented goalkeeper. Um, I think there's a little bit of the Shea Given thing and that people, you know, you think that Shea Given was amazing because you'd see him making loads of saves. Oh, yeah. He's playing for a side where they would concede a few more chances. Um, I think probably he's the, yeah, he's the right, absolute right goalkeeper for Everton. But if the question is, does he get into Liverpool's side in terms of what Liverpool want, which is someone who most of the time isn't having to isn't making a lot of those sort of amazing saves and is actually just having to run a defence, martial a defence and use their experience, I'd go for Alisson. So there we have it definitively. Jordan Pickford is better than Alisson. <laughs>